Forests are everywhere, even in the city. A forest in a city is called an urban forest. A lot of trees in an urban forest have been around longer than the trees you might see in rural areas. So how do you start up a forest? On the campus of Franklin College, Professor Alice Hikins is building a forest with the help from students and volunteers. This is an urban forest, a little pocket of woods right next to a tennis court, right next to buildings and parking lots. We took an area that we were currently mowing and we decided that rather than spend the time and energy to mow every year, that we could take that area and we would convert it into a forest. The goal here is to make a native forest. Can we make an area that would be typical of what a forest would have been like 150 years ago, 200 years ago, on this exact property in Franklin, Indiana. This little forest is already off to a great start. We have about 75 species that we've put in the ground out here. The tulip poplars, the state tree of Indiana, is a fast-growing species. We have several of those planted out here, and those are going to grow fairly fast. The oaks are very slow growing. We have some oaks and some hickories. We will monitor the trees to see how large they get. And then as we establish shade, we will start to bring in more species so that we continue to increase the diversity of the area. A forest in central Indiana would have four distinct layers to it. It would have a canopy, a uh, layer of trees, you would have a subcanopied layer of trees that were a little bit shorter trees, you would have a shrub layer, and then you would have an herbaceous layer. We want people to come in and use it, and one of the things that we are doing is developing an educational brochure so that the public can simply walk through and learn to identify the species that are here, learn about some of the plants that would be native to central Indiana. I think it's something that we all want to do is leave something that's going to be here longer than we were and make a positive impact, whether that's planting a tree or leaving something that we have done. This urban forest project or the projects that we can do in our backyards are going to be those types of projects that people will be very proud of.